Hey, baby. Daddy's home. Hey, baby. Ah. She just wake mm. up. What's up? Glasses. Yes, I get new glasses. You like it? You like it? <laughs> she just wake up. Can I have a best gonna please? Really? She felt it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, rain, rain. No? Yes, please. No. That's why I'm gonna come. Because I'm now, uh, you're coming. Go in your chair. Said can I? Um... What is it? Give it to me, please. Thank you. You want to break daddy's glasses? Hi, guys. Welcome to the channel. This is Diamond Sapphire and us. If it's your first time, thank you for stopping by. If it's your second, third, fourth time, thank you for the support. I'm here cooking. I'm doing a late dinner. I wasn't going to cook because we have leftovers in the refrigerator, but I was thinking that maybe Duane is tired of eating the same thing over and over again. And actually, I was tired too. So I felt for some ground provision and saw fish. So, Dwayne came home and he brought me to the store to get it because we didn't have any in the fridge. Boy, I'm telling you, when we want to eat Jamaican food, it is so expensive. But we still make the sacrifice. We still make the sacrifice. So please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, share, tell a friend to tell a friend, and come back for more. All right, so like I said, I'm cooking, I'm cooking salt fish to boil. I actually changed the water once already. Um, I'll be changing it again because I want to get rid of most of the salt. And I'm going to do some green bananas. You see those marks on it? That's what they used to mark it in the store to show that it is actually from Jamaica, St. Mary's Farm. And this one is usually more expensive. And this is Negro yam. This little piece of yam was an $11 something. This was almost $7 for the six bananas. Almost seven Canadian dollars for the six bananas. Yeah, when we want to eat Jamaican, it's very expensive. But we do treat ourselves sometimes. Water for the ground provision and the dumplings. First thing, I'm gonna need the flour. I wasn't going to cook, you know, but like I said earlier, I don't want to keep doing the same thing for for lunch tomorrow again. So I'm going to make. Just a bit of salt for the dumpling. Cornmeal dumpling. Let me wash my hands again because I'm almost sure I touched it. Please. so much work but I don't mind at least I get a chance to exercise so the, du the dumpling is needed it's very moist I'm going to leave this to set for a while and then I'm going to peel the yam I'm going to peel the yam and the banana. Set 
This is Negro, Negro yam. Usually we buy the, the yellow yam, but I decided to try this one. $5.99 per pound. <laughs> I wonder how much it is in Jamaica now. I remember growing up when my granddad, my grandfather, my great grandfather used to plant these and take them home. We always had yam at home. Yellow yam, negro yam, St. Vincent, moonshine. Um, which other one? There's one I can't say the name. P U M P U M Yam. <laughs> that one, the skin is hard and it's bumpy. I don't know why they gave it that name. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Dashin, cocoa, sweet potato. We had everything. All the grown provision I could think of. And you know, funny enough, those times I didn't like it. I didn't, I wasn't a, a grown provision person growing up. I didn't like the breadfruit and the yam. I always wanted dumpling. Even my grandparents didn't like dumpling, but if it's even half pound of flour, my grandmother would try to cook just for me because I was always a dumpling person. And even to this day, I'm a carbs queen. I don't know how I stay slim because I love carbs. I think one of the reasons is because I'm still nursing diamond. I think maybe that's one of the reasons why I am able to still maintain that slim build. I don't want to cut them too small. I, I cook all of it because I don't like to leave a piece and then lose any of it. It's too expensive to lose any. So I prefer to just cook all of it. And when it's done, it's done. Now I'm going to do the bananas. Actually, I'm changing the water again. So this is the second time I'm changing the water on the sawfish because we definitely are not supposed to eat too much salt for health reasons. So I have to make sure that it's as fresh as possible. Although sometimes I, write, I think I make it too fresh and then it doesn't taste like saltfish anymore. Or cardfish. I won't let it boil too long this time. All right. Uh, oh, the bananas. I I don't like to do my bananas in the skin. Can't do it in the skin. Of course, my finger gets a little. A matter of fact, the way I do it, it doesn't really get. This color because I do it under the water and that will prevent it from getting this color. So I mark them. I cut off the two ends and then I mark it down like this and peel it off like that. But like I said, I usually do it under the water and that way it doesn't stain my hands that much. How smooth it is now.
dumplings. I'm flaking the, the soy fish now and removing like the extra bones that are there. I was just here cleaning the saltfish and, and reminiscing and remembering the days when my grandmother used to send me to the shop to buy to buy um, saltfish. Sometimes she could afford quarter pound, sometimes it would be two ounces. And believe it or not, then it used to pick up a piece of it, you know. <laughs> oh my goodness, I tell you, those were the days. I would still pick up a little piece of it before I reach home. But usually still, like they used to use saltfish just for flavor because they would put it with chocho, um, cabbage, callaloo, different things. Um, I don't, <laughs> oh boy, those were the days. Two ounces of saltfish, one little tupsa. You hear me about my tops, my little Jamaica and pat herself. A small, tiny piece. <laughs> it would be just a little bit bigger than this for two ounces because the salt makes it heavy. So you don't get a big piece when you buy the salt fish. For those who don't know, that is. Those were the days that I give God thanks that he has taken us beyond those two ounces, two, yeah, two ounces of selfish days. God must be praised. That is why, you know, no matter how the situation I find myself in, when I reminisce, I just give him thanks. Cause I'm like, God, it could be worse. Even, even in my situation, sometimes the enemy would want me to feel bad about my situation or whatever. But then you hear the news and you hear about the people down downtown who don't have a home the, the refugees and whatever are you wondering what what you're giving yourself worries about michelle just be grateful to god god give you guys strength and you have a husband who willing to take care of his responsibility and work and pay the rent just give thanks and stay where you are for the time being until better come and don't worry yourself don't worry about what people might think or what people might say because you know your situation and nobody can know it for you yeah sometimes we just need to roll back the curtains it was today i was listening to this service from back home and the, the preacher was talking about oh we love to roll back the memories of curtain the curtains of memory for other people's lives and we don't want to roll it back for ourselves but sometimes we just need to roll back those curtains of memories and give God thanks for where we're coming from and where we could have been. Because hadn't it been for his grace? So this is the salt fish now. So I'm going to taste it. If it's too salty, I'll rinse it again. If not, I'll just let it be as is. I'm going to taste this. All right, I'm not going to rinse it. If I rinse it again, I'm not going to get any good flavor. So it's fine the way it is. I'm going to cut up the vegetables now. And this is bubbling away. It's almost done. Okay, so I'll be using onion, green onion, a scotch bonnet pepper, some bell pepper, and tomatoes. I have two tomatoes. 
So I'll be cutting these. I'm going to cut the onion first and put it to saute while I'm cutting the rest of it because I think the onion takes the longest. done now just ready to be eaten and the dumpling the bananas are a bit discolored but that's okay Love Miss Rachel, man. She loves Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel is my sitter. Yes. <laughs> mm. Mm. When she is full, she is good. She loves Miss Rachel, man. <laughs> <laughs> 